What's up, biker bros? My name is Nathan, and I'm the new brand ambassador for Windy City at Fox Motorsports. Today, I'm on my way to Wildfire Harley-Davidson in Villa Park, Illinois, and I'm about to take the Harley-Davidson Riding Academy course. So if you're someone that is interested in getting your motorcycle license, a moto enthusiast, or just someone that loves Harley Davidson, this video is for you. And if you're interested in taking the Harley Davidson Riding Academy course after watching this awesome video, make sure to use promo code above RANB25 for $25 off your Riding Academy course. And without further ado, let's get to the moto vlog. All right, biker bros, so we are finally out on the road course after two long 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. days in the classroom learning the basics of road safety on a motorcycle and we are all super excited to finally be on the bike. To start off the road course, we checked out our Street 500s that I'm on right now and walked around the bikes, learned the basics of the controls, how to find the friction zone, and how to get the bike moving. Like I said, today we're on a Street 500 and it is outfitted with bar ends, engine guards, an exhaust guard. Um, it's, it's set to be dropped. They are understanding of the fact that you may drop a bike. Now the first few days of the course were quite informative. Our teacher has been riding for over 30 years. So finding your friction point when you're learning to ride is an important part of riding a motorcycle because it tells you where the bike will start moving when the clutch disengages. So in doing this course not everyone is going to learn at the same pace. That's something that you have to keep in mind. Some people may take longer to get started and find those friction zones and find their balance while on the bike. But everyone ultimately is going to learn how to ride and that's the amazing thing about this class. Now naturally as you progress through the course you're going to take on different riding roles. So like we said we started out finding your friction zone with the clutch then we practiced starting and stopping riding and now we're working on riding from one end of the lot to the other. So as you can see we're going from one end to the other without stopping in first gear. So this gives us a taste of how riding actually feels before having to worry about shifting gears so we get to learn how to apply the correct braking pressure. On top of that, the Harley-Davidson Street 500 that you use for the course is actually governed to about 20 miles an hour. So once you hit about 20 miles an hour, the vehicle will drop in RPMs to bring you back down to the correct speed. I'll go ahead and demonstrate that for you right now. So, as you saw, in first gear, I did about 20 miles an hour there, and the bike started to sputter and lost some power. Now, one of the most important things when you're learning to ride a motorcycle is to always remember to wear your seatbelt, guys. That is one of the most important things. I'm just joking, but honestly, when you get on your motorcycle, one of the most amazing feelings, and the reason I think I ride and so many other people ride, is that shifting through the gears lets you become one with the vehicle. You get to completely control the vehicle, in how it sounds, how it moves. It's one of the most amazing feelings being able to tell the vehicle exactly what you want it to do. So right now we're about to practice shifting from first to second gear in a straightaway and then we're adding in a small turn at the end of the straightaway. So in order to shift a motorcycle you have to entirely pull in the clutch, roll off the throttle, and then tap the shifter. So as I do this demonstration right here, watch as I move my foot. So I'm starting in first gear. So your gears are as follows. Neutral is in the middle. First gear is down. And then two, three, four, five, and sometimes six is going up. So you're going to start off by getting to speed. And then once you hear the engine screaming, it's asking you to shift up. So then you're going to shift up. and then you're gonna downshift. 
so now that we have figured out our friction zone, how to shift, how to start and stop, we are currently working on zigzagging through cones. This is important because you start to understand the motion of the bike. So once you've had lunch on the first day of class, you're gonna then come back to the bikes and you'll go out working on turning in second gear. Turning in second gear is important because that's oftentimes what you're gonna find yourself doing while you're in real life situations. If there's a green light and you're turning off to a, a side street, you're not gonna oftentimes slow down all the way to first gear. So we're gonna practice that right here, see what we could do. So we're gonna get up to speed, get into second gear, and then we're gonna make the right turn. So second gear. Tap the brakes, turn your head. And you're through the turn. Now arguably, one of the most stressful tests within the Harley Davidson Riding Academy course is uh, the quick braking uh, test. That's when you get to 20 miles an hour in second gear and then you stop at the cones and you have to shift down to first gear. Even a little bit more nerve-wracking than that is the fast brake and swerve um, as if you were avoiding a car that randomly stopped in the road. Those two things, those two tests are two of the most nerve-wracking things for new riders that come in to take this course. It's one of the biggest tips that I could give anyone that wants to to succeed is to simply have confidence in themselves. So this is the last day of the Harley-Davidson Riding Academy course and we are practicing figure eight S turns at low speeds. Now this is one drill that oftentimes gives people trouble, including me, when you don't use enough speed. Once again, like I said yesterday, confidence is key when taking the Riding Academy course. In particular, this skill is something that even tripped me up. And the reason being is that I was stubborn to turn my head and look through the turns. And once I started doing that, I realized my turning capabilities were much greater than before. Your, your body goes where your head goes. So now we are working on turning at higher speeds, getting up to 20 miles an hour, braking, and then turning again. All right, so the next step in the Riding Academy course is working on riding and then swerving to avoid a potential obstacle in the road. It also includes riding over a two by four, which whether it happens on the real roads or not is a good skill to have. So watch as I go through this swerving exercise. Getting get up to about 20 miles an hour. So that concludes the actual drills that you will do during the class. And now I am doing the practice skills test for the final test. The final test includes the figure eight, swerve and stop. And a fast braking drill. All right, guys, so that concludes today's video on the Harley Davidson Riding Academy course. Once again, as a reminder, my name is Nathan Barron, and I am one of the brand ambassadors for Windy City Motorcycle Company. If you're interested in taking this course, 
Use promo code RANB25 for $25 off your course total. Now, in order to end this video off, I'm gonna leave you with three tips on how to pass this class and have a successful time. So the first tip, be positive and have confidence in yourself. If you do not have confidence, you will struggle with this course. Be positive. When you're going throughout the course, if you start to break down and get nervous, you're gonna mess up in some way and you will struggle in the test. Now, tip number two, dress appropriately. The minimum requirements for this course are boots, some sort of long pants that cover the ankles, a long sleeve shirt, gloves, and a helmet. When I say dress appropriately, that means dress for the weather as well. If it's 95 degrees and humid with blistering sun, do not wear a leather jacket if you do not have to. Wearing leathers is important when you get onto the street and you're riding on actual road conditions, but this is a closed course. You're not going any more than 20 miles an hour at any given point in time, and the minimum gear that they require you to wear will suffice. Now my third and final tip is to listen to your instructors. I came into this course already having my motorcycle license and I was a little bit stubborn, a little bit wary of what tips to listen to from the instructors. All these instructors that are certified to, to teach this course have typically 30 plus years of riding experience and they know what they're talking about. For example, I was a little bit hesitant to look right when I'm taking turns and I started doing that and it made the world of a difference. Now if you enjoyed this video make sure to check me out on social media. I'm on YouTube as well as Instagram and on those platforms I'll be posting weekly motorcycle content whether it's me doing tutorials, traveling to events with Harley Davidson or many other motorcycle related videos.